welcome to International Hawaii. I'm your host, Cindy Matsuki. International Hawaii showcases local import and export businesses to help others new to the industry. Today, my guest is Jerry Tamamoto, Vice President of Ship to Hawaii, and they're a local shipping service company. So I'm excited. I, I haven't talked to a shipping service company <laughs> before. So it's exciting. Thanks for joining me, Jerry. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, my pleasure. So maybe briefly explain what Ship to Hawaii is. So Ship to Hawaii, uh, it's a, we are a freight forwarding company that provides air and ocean freight shipping, uh, ocean freight services. Um, um, it's a niche market. Uh, our services works best if the vendor that people purchase from, if they offer free shipping. Um, mm -hmm. If they offer free shipping, take it because uh, you can have it sent to our warehouse in California free. And all you have to do is worry about how much it's going to cost from California to Hawaii. So um, it, it's, it's a smart concept um, mm -hmm. and it works. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of problem when you say you want something really badly and they say, oh, does it ship to Hawaii? <laughs> that's the worst. Yeah, we what is that? What is the difference between just a regular shipping company versus a freight forwarder? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, that's a good question. It, it's not on the list here, but so that's a good question. And I think, it, yeah, I would think the, the big difference for us is our customer service. Um, really important. Um, you know, you don't like to be waiting on the phone, hanging and, or not even getting a response back. So we have really good customer service people. Um, um, and so maybe that's the big difference. Mm -hmm. uh, freight forwarding, a uh, uh, regular freight company. Um, sorry, they're just interest, interested in volume, and uh, we want to make oh. sure that our customers are happy. You know, because yeah. if they if they come and pick up their shipment here in Honolulu, they get mad if there's a problem, and they would come and see me. Uh, I don't like mad people. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. And then you, we have a brief kind of video to show another version of what Chip to Hawaii does. Okay. So we can play that. This is Charlie. Charlie was shopping online and just found the perfect chair. The chair Charlie bought is there, and they can deliver the chair for free there, there, or even there. But Charlie lives here. That's where we come in. We're shipped to Hawaii, and we can get the items you want shipped from there to here. Large or small, you find it, you buy it, we ship it. ShipToHawaii.com. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Yeah, that's and the nice... logo is so cute. The whale with the plane wings. Mm -hmm. What is the what's the story behind the logo? So the story, um, it, it, it's a it's a humpback whale. Um, and the humpback whale migrates between Alaska and Hawaii. Um, and that represents our two companies. We have Ship to Hawaii, here we're Ship to Hawaii, and we have another company called Ship to Alaska. And the people in Alaska complain about the same problem that we have. They, you know, vendors offer free shipping, but not to Hawaii or Alaska. So it's another, yeah, it's a smart niche market. Um, and it works. But you guys are headquartered in Hawaii? Mm -hmm. I'm in Honolulu. Very good. Um, how did, when was the company founded and how did it get started? Yeah, so I, I believe the company was started in 2004. Uh, this guy named Andrew, he, from what I hear, he wanted to buy, he was living in Kanyohi and he wanted to buy a lamp. And the uh, same thing, the vendor offers free shipping, but not to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and, and he also had uh, another quote to bring it in. And it was like, I don't know, $150. And, you know, compared to his lamp of maybe, I don't know, maybe $20 for his lamp. <laughs> so he got, you know, and so for him, he's a computer programmer and he figured it out. Oh, you know, there's a need. Okay, well, let's go and figure it out. So they, they developed this um, program and this company. Um, and it's a simple concept. Um, um, and, and again, it's this. Uh, so that's how we started. Um, we got involved in the company in 2010. Uh, we learned about it. We heard it. It's the same thing. You know, it's a good concept, smart, simple, um, and you just got to really focus on your customer service. 
Uh, so that's why we try to go and make sure, okay, customer service, take care of your customers. Wow. And then how do you, like, so when the company started for Ship to Hawaii, did it already have its own assets? Like, do you use other vendors for the planes and the shipping? Or do you actually own? Yeah, yeah, okay. No, we don't own airplanes or we don't own, we own the warehouses. Um, mm -hmm. But we do, we work with other warehouses on, in California and even mm -hmm. Washington. Um, and uh, for Alaska, is we work with warehouses in Anchorage. Nice people. So we communicate every time uh, in Honolulu, in, in, sorry, in Hawaii, uh, all the major islands, uh, we, same thing. We work with the other companies uh, on the outer islands. Uh, and all they're doing is just giving shipments or taking care of the customers when they come and pick up the shipments. So our, um, our office here is the one that handles all the calls on, and handles all the emails um, and make sure that the shipments are kept, kept on track. Got it. So it's more like Ship to Hawaii handles all the logistics and communication for getting something from a warehouse from the mainland to here. Yeah, and we also collect the money too. So that's important. <laughs> we make sure we take care of that side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, just shipping itself is so... There's so much involved with so this the transport. The transport is one thing, and again, it's a simple concept. But then the problem, the big problem, is when you get damages, damages mm. or lost shipping. You know that really makes customers frustrated. Mm -hmm. I don't blame them. So we try to go and um, keep the customer updated of um, the status of their shipment, um, especially if there's a, a damage, for example. Mm -hmm. um, we make sure we take photos. And, and that, that in itself is a time consuming, but the customers would ask for photos uh, and we give it to them and they decide what they want to do next, whether they want to return it to the vendor and get a new one, or they might think, oh, the damage is minor, so just keep on going forward. So wow, that's a really great service. That, that really helps. Yeah, versus just shipping it and it just comes and you have no idea where it got damaged. Yeah, right? yeah. and really everybody's going to blame the next guy. And you know the bottom line is the poor customer. He gonna be, he gonna be. What he gonna do next? Yeah, yeah. And then you gotta pay two times for shipping, right? Yeah, if you gotta ship yeah. it back. And it's very, it's very frustrating. So. Mm, that's good. That's a really great service. What are most of your customers shipping? And what are your customers? Are they businesses or just regular people? Uh, yeah. So we have businesses. Uh, mo most of them are regular people like me. Oh, yeah, and we will uh, we'll find something on the internet and okay, um, we, we, especially uh, I buy from Amazon, I buy Amazon a lot. Uh, you know, nowadays, especially with the pandemic, uh, there's a lot of home gyms, um, uh, the, uh, what is that? Elect uh, equipment racks. Where oh, like really gym. large items. Yes, yes, and even small kinds. Um, mm. But for example, I, I mean, buy. Um, equipment rack uh, so I can do some sit-ups and some pull-ups like that. Um, I kind of scared to go to the gyms nowadays so mm -hmm. I figured okay home gym oh that's better than getting flabby. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I try to buy um, dumbbells and that's something for, for me for my um, home gym but they're out of stock so mm -hmm. that's the problem. Um, and you know funny there's a uh, we see a lot of above ground pools. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. Um, a lot of really um, car, there's a lot of car parts, people fixing their own cars. Mm, interesting. Um, yeah. Um, and, and especially the car people, or the part, car part people, they don't ship to Hawaii. Um, huh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, go figure. Um, pet, pet supplies, yeah, I have a list here. Pet supplies. Furniture, like you know, like you said, IKEA. Uh, there's a lot of Wayfair, West Elm, uh, and gaming chairs. Uh, huh. Even that, I don't know. It's, anyway, uh, this company called Secret Lab. They sell these gaming chairs, and people <laughs> bringing in. Yeah, it's, it, it's, um, and, and same thing. And and Amazon products. I'm a Prime member. Yeah, I'm a Prime member, but oh, they don't ship to Hawaii. Okay, so plan two. Well, you ship to Hawaii, bring it in. 
And wow. I, I think we just saw um, a lot of people are asking about safe for guns. And hmm. I think about, oh, that's pretty sad. You know, people want to fortify their house. Okay, good for you. Um, but, you know, any, anyway, I mean, uh, on the other side, that's a sad thing because people got to protect themselves. This is Hawaii people. Yeah. Wow. wow scary. That is, that's too bad. Yeah. Hmm. All the, all the products that you bring in are all domestic, right? No. Uh, for now, they're all domestic. Yeah. Uh, and so for me, as part of our business development, uh, let's see, uh, can we go and do the same concept for vendors in China, mm. in Japan? Uh -huh. uh, and, and there's a lot of businesses that um, want to ship, want to sell to customers here in Hawaii. Small uh -huh. market, but they figured, you know, if, why not? We're in Hawaii. And they sign up as members. And they mm -hmm. ship it and they just change the people change the name of who's going to pick it up so it's going to be their customer they just send it and they say okay this person is going to pick it up and that's what happens so that's how the the process works wow hmm. that's great that's really good um why do you have a membership versus just a regular service so the membership there's different levels of membership Mm -hmm. um, one uh, and for us that is important because it keeps track of shipments. Um, yeah. yeah. So there's a free member. Sorry, there's a free membership, and um, for me, uh, okay, maybe I buy something online once in five years. Okay, so no need, no sense to buy one membership. So I just buy one. I get a free membership. I sign up as a free membership. Um, there's a difference between a free membership and a gold level. The gold level is twenty dollars. And the difference is handling fee. Um, so there's other charges that are associated with our warehouse and that's the handling. So unfortunately, we pass it on to our free membership. Uh, mm -hmm. Gold membership, gold membership people, they pay the $20 and we don't charge them any handling fee. So there's a difference. That seems like a good deal, $20. Yeah, it's not, but if, if, it, if it makes sense. It, yeah. it has to, yeah, ship to Hawaii has to make sense. So. So part of our process is, okay, so um, you want to know how much it's going to cost from California to Hawaii. So, so mm -hmm. that's the first step. And if it's, if, it's, if it's reasonable, okay, then you can keep on buying because you're not buying just the product, you're buying the product plus the shipping to Hawaii, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, and so before you buy, before you click buy, you want to know, okay, the next step is I got to pay for shipping from California mm -hmm. to Hawaii. So that's the mm -hmm. whole that's the whole um, cost fee instead of just the product. It's, it's a cost yeah. of the product plus the shipping. And because we're out here, sometimes it's really expensive. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ship the other way too? We do. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Uh, we have a flat rate box, and it's a lot. A, a, a lot of things are um, household goods, uh, but there's restrictions on what we allow sending back. Uh, definitely, we don't we don't do um, hazmat shipping sending back. Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, clothes and maybe little small pieces of furniture. Um, uh, my suggestion, though, uh, leave it here because shipping is expensive. Leave it here, sell it. <laughs> yeah, sell it. And okay, when you go to the mainland, relocate. Okay, you buy something over there. Buy more. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That's true. Do small businesses or large businesses use ship to Hawaii to? Mostly, uh, mostly there's a lot of small businesses, um, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see here. Yeah, so small businesses, uh, they use ship to Hawaii because maybe they their volume is not um, enough to go and fill up a whole twenty foot container or forty foot container. Yeah. So they just yeah. take a small portion, maybe one pallet or one a couple boxes, and it makes sense. Then they can associate it to their cost compared to buying a whole bunch of inventory and you get stuck so it mm -hmm. does work mm -hmm. or paying for mostly empty air in a container yeah that's it <laughs> what are um what are the biggest challenges for a ship to hawaii uh getting through like the business COVID. challenges just being yeah. in hawaii getting through the okay um right now um and even for our other businesses it's um forecasting sales uh, especially now, mm -hmm. you can you can forecast your sales. Okay, you know you do your 
business plan, but then what really happens, what really hits is you got to just focus on your expenses. And if you can control your expenses or manage your expenses correctly, then you'll be okay. You can ride out this um, situation we're in. I, I mean, and unfortunately, I think this COVID is going to be here for a long time. It's not only, it's not the disease. Hopefully the vaccine will take care of that part. But the ripple effect from the economy, I think it's going to be a long time. Uh, summertime maybe next year. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, that's scary. I think so. mm -hmm. Have you seen like what has what have been the changes in shipments since yeah. the pandemic and before the pandemic? Okay, so uh, I, I hate to say it, but shipping is happy. People are staying home. <laughs> People are staying home and they're buying things That's online. True. Uh, and you know, uh, same thing. You stay home. Oh, I gotta go and fix my garden. Okay, so you buy one, you know, something from the guy. I I buy um, plant seeds. Yeah, I I do ship. I use ship to like to bring in little plant seeds, you know, flowers. Uh, I yeah, yeah, interesting. I even started a beekeeping uh, project or hobby. Wow. And I, brought, I brought my bee behind and my bee unit, my suit, using ship to <laughs> Anywhere. Wow. It's really fun. <laughs> Got it. So there must be a lot of people like you to keep the shipping busy. <laughs> yeah, there, it's a lot. It's, and it's happy. Uh, even for Alaska, Alaska people are staying at home. Um, mm. uh, yeah, it, it, it's mm. every, every place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. My guest today is Jerry Tamamono from Ship to Hawaii, and this is International Hawaii on ThinkTech, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to International Hawaii. My guest today is Jerry Tamamoto with Ship to Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. Lots of Hawaii. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I wanted to ask, I know that Ship to Hawaii is also related to Aala shipping, and that's I, I know I've heard that name around a lot. What is the relationship between the two businesses? So Aala shipping is part of our holding company. Uh, Ship to Hawaii, um, we you uh, from uh, their, their sisters like but um the shipments coming out of uh, all of shipping shipments started out well part of it was shipments come for ship to hoi and that's how we started ship to you know so that's how this oh wow why not good idea so anyway it's related uh in 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 more ways than one uh, but basically they're just sister companies Got it. And they do shipping as well, shipping services. Yep, they do shipping services. Um, more of the logistic delivery, delivery, um, delivery to customers here in Hawaii. Mm. Ship to Hawaii just does the shipping, not the delivery side. Would Would it make sense for Hawaii companies, like small companies, to hui together to ship, or it doesn't doesn't make a difference? I think it's complicated. Um, time, you know, it, um, timing is different. Mm. Um, I've seen uh, forest um, consolidate shipping, consolidate purchases, and they ship one time and they break it apart. Um, but maybe mm. the vendor, maybe the vendor needs to participate in that compared to just having 
individual small businesses get together and say, okay, we want to buy this. I think it goes the other way around. The vendor participates and finds more uh, forests, for example, and they buy all in bulk. And it, it does make sense that time. So, I think the it. so if the if the companies were all ordering from the same vendor, yeah, but again the timing might be off. Uh, so mm -hmm. I I would think that the vendor would participate first. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Do you have any um advice for businesses that are just starting out? Like I know there's some Hawaii businesses that are growing, and as they're growing, they need to start shipping in more supplies and raw materials. Do you have any advice for them to help them grow? So for me, it's just a matter of watching your expenses. You know, you can go and anticipate sales, forecast sales, but mm. you know, who would expect in March that this pandemic was going to hit? And mm -hmm. I mean, for me, it's oh, how long is going to take? Oh, okay, maybe a couple months only. Huh. You know, if you can just watch, focus on your sales, um, you can laugh and get through this. Um, as far as expansion, same thing, you know, be careful. Um, you have to sign that, for example, you're going to lease the property. Oh, you have to sign that lease. And that's <laughs> a, you know, that's a commitment. Um, yeah. So make sure, you know, um, build yeah. up your, build up an essay and just in case another COVID happens. Um, mm. And, you know, and you know, make a business plan, stick to your plan. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important. Yeah, it's been really tough for small businesses. I mean, nobody could have foreseen this, like you said. It's crazy. Mm. Where can um, people find more information about Ship to Hawaii? So, yeah, we have a website. It's a really nice website. Um, we had this. Um, it is very nice. Brand, yeah, brand developers. Um, they made a, they did a great job. Uh, Ship to Hawaii.com. Um, and they made it neat where I can control some of the content instead of having the. Um, developer coming in again and I need to do it. I can go and uh, uh, control some of the words like featured announcements or even announcements. Nice. Um, yeah, so uh, I do my best. Um, I kind of <laughs> do the hard stuff, you know, like attaching pictures or attaching videos. That's a little bit over my head, but I can change some words and that works. So, That's yeah, good. Ship, ship to Hawaii and even ship to Alaska.com uh, mm -hmm. well, for people in Alaska. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting process. I just started. I became a member, and I'm, I'm. The customer service has been really great so far. Yeah, I haven't gotten my that. shipping yet, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm waiting, <laughs> and it's been recent, so. It's, I, yeah. I will pop, I will follow with our customer service people. Make sure you <laughs> yeah, take care, yeah. Cindy. Now. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, and I have one last question for my, I have a random question for my guests. What is your favorite restaurant? What have you been visiting? Me? Mm -hmm. From March, I haven't gone out, so, okay. But before, uh, I like MW. Oh. Uh, my my son-in-law, my daughter took me there one time, or you know, took us there, and mm -hmm. the service is excellent. The food is excellent, but more the customer service, the, the waiters and the waitresses, mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. place. Oh, very good. That's yeah. good. And they're doing takeout. They do. Okay. But, <laughs> but I don't know. It's not the same, I think. So, and for now, a little bit scared to eat outside yet. So, okay. That's okay. It'll come. You know, maybe when they go to a different tier level, okay. Uh -huh. Then we start going out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We're okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining me on International Hawaii. My guest has been Jerry Kamamoto, Vice President of Ship to Hawaii. Thank you for all your advice and learning about shipping. It's been really good. And we'll see you next time on International Hawaii on ThinkTech.